This to me is a new thing that the Lord is doing. He feels that this nation needs to go in a different direction, which means change. And the person that can bring about that change, he has anointed. A young man, Senator of Illinois, named Obama. We can't take this no more. We are calling these places, thinking that they will help. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal, endowed with certain inalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Freedom isn't free. If you love the light, you have to pay the price because freedom isn't free. With one stick you can break easily, but if you have a bundle of sticks bound together, they are hard to break. And that's what I look forward to in the black community of seeing families sticking together moving in the same direction to accomplish the many hurdles that we have ahead of us and be victorious. This is my testimony, everybody, how God favored me in spite of my enemies. And if God did it for me, he'll do the same thing for you. Don't worry about your haters. Your haters can't do nothing with you. Listen to these words. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is felt most when it's easy. But I want you to know tonight you've got faith. God favors me. In your trial, in your test, in your hard time, don't worry. God favors me. Attack your character, attack your integrity. Don't worry, no, no. God favors me. Touch your neighbor, encourage the person next to you. I'm Luther King said. And justice to one man is indirectly injustice to all. What he was saying that it might not affect us right now, but soon or later, it's going to walk into our house and affect us. So that we must be fighting injustice now and forevermore. I'm very concerned about the young people because if their parents don't stand with them, they're going to be standing alone. Some parents have the false idea that they have to be buddy buddies with their children and almost like brothers and sisters. That's not their role as parents. They need to train up a child in the way they should go so that when they're old, they will not depart or at least far from it. And if they depart, they'll come back. But I would advise the young people not to give in and not to give up. But at the same time, I want you to understand that courtesy and yet, fortitude and courageousness who went out for peace and equality over against the fanfare, the on and off movements, plus the fact that we cannot win peace, justice, and honor if we just engage 
in continued battle toward one another. And our men, even though they might get discouraged at the fact, as the old saying goes, they're the last to be hard and the first to be fired. Even those disappointments and inequalities should not prevent them from saying that there is a bright side somewhere and they're not going to rest until they find it. So that's the church that you attend today? That is the church that you attend today? I go there on occasion. Uh, frankly, I have not been welcomed by this uh, interim pastor, so I stay away. But they're getting ready to extend an invitation to a new minister, which, by the way, is going to be a female. I hope to work closely with her. Why are you not welcome? Well, <laughs> good question. Um, they said I'm not supposed to perform marriages, funerals, baptisms, not be a part of the church, no not a part of the clubs and it hurt at first because I watched quite a number of people there grow up from infancy. And we were a close family church but uh, that was all and I didn't want to argue about it so I just visit other churches and hopefully there's going to be a change and I'm willing to move back and work to build it back up again. The count by what we call our presbytery says that we have lost 125 members since I left. That was in 98. So there's a great deal of work ahead hoping that the people will accept her, get behind her, let's develop new programs, bring back the old ones, and move ahead. I'm going to wear out and not rust out in the service of the Lord. I give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away.